right, good afternoon. It is 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time on April 3rd, 2017. And last night, about 11 o'clock or so, I noticed on the USGS uh, this earthquake right here. It's a pretty good size 5.3 magnitude earthquake in Panama. And then we go down and take a look at that from last night right here is that earthquake over here and then while I was watching it immediately after just uh, just a 44 minutes apart there was a large deep earthquake which is normal to have large deep earthquakes right here in Fiji this is an origination point where pressure from large deep earthquakes comes out from underneath the plate in the asthenosphere and uh, comes up to the surface and transfers pressure but it, what struck me is that it happened just four minutes after this earthquake in Panama right here which again that's a pretty large earthquake for this area <clears throat> I had commented to myself that that pressure was going to move to the south and also to the northeast up into this region in here and then it would shoot across the plate what I didn't expect is what came shortly after this one uh, probably in about 20 minutes there was an earthquake right here a 5.2 in South Africa so this earthquake here was a 5.3 and so when I saw four minutes later an earthquake happen over here in Fiji my first internal thought was wow that's a lot of that's about 7,000 miles that that pressure moved all the way underneath the plate across the Pacific. But then, even then, after that, it transferred all the way across over to here. And so, it literally, seismic pressure from here transferred all the way around the globe. Another 8,000 miles over to here. All within less than an hour. And so I made a mental note, uh, I should probably make a video tomorrow, meaning today, uh, and just kind of point that out because I, I thought it was very odd and unusual and had me a little concerned because that's a tremendous amount of pressure to move all the way across the globe, almost in a straight line. Now, you know, if you curve this around, this, this makes a, a, a perfectly straight line. <clears throat> so then I... Uh, never got around to making my video today until just now but just about an hour ago right here was a 6.5 the USGS is listing that as a 6.5 however um, the European site is including all of the uh, different reporting stations on their site and if you click the magnitudes most of them are showing this particular earthquake is in the upper sevens 6 point, uh, 7.6 excuse me 7.5 7.5 7.5 so uh, initially it's looking like a pretty big earthquake uh, bigger than a 7 or 6.9 like the USGS is reporting it as or 6.5 even so they're they're downgrading this quite a bit uh, in all reality this was likely a 7 so yeah, tremendous pressure move all the way across the plate. There were, in, incidentally, there were two large deep earthquakes right here in the same area, just moments apart from each other. Uh, you can see this is a depth of 595 kilometers right here, of 4.7, and then just a few minutes later, about 20 minutes later, there was a 4.6 at uh, 539 kilometers so these are both large deep earthquakes if you've watched my other earthquake videos you will um, take note that I mentioned that large deep earthquakes move up to the surface and then that seismic pressure transfers along the plate boundaries which these red lines are the plate boundaries this is the Pacific plate here and so uh, that seismic pressure from these large deep earthquakes in this area transfers to the south into New Zealand and then also to the west. I would look for anywhere in this area 
Solomon Islands to Papua New Guinea to see upwards in a five and a half to six point zero earthquake as well unless again that pressure really did come from all the way over here underneath the asthenosphere pushed up a little bit while it was in the neighborhood and moved all the way over here to South Africa producing these two large earthquakes in the last 24 hours <clears throat> that's just a hunch there's no science behind it, it just makes sense a large deep earthquake happened here and that pressure transfers across the plates um, through fracture zones that run across this plate you can zoom in a little bit and uh, you might be able to see them yeah you can faintly see them right here these are fracture zones that run from this area here all the way across the Pacific plate and slam right into here in uh, northern Chile Argentina Bolivia Peru up in here Ecuador uh, Colombia um, so I expect to be you know some significant size earthquake activity in this area over the next two or three days down to the south um, down into Chile and then eventually that pressure will wind its way out here uh, to the South Sandwich Islands and then out into the Mid-Atlantic Ridge which is this area this pressure right here could possibly also go underneath the plate and come out over here into the Mid-Atlantic Ridge and if it does that then that kind of confirms my suspicion I guess that uh, this earthquake pressure transferred like this in a line all the way over to here if we see a large earthquake out here on the mid-atlantic ridge in the next 12 to 24 hours then I'm gonna go ahead and say that that's exactly what happened that seismic pressure moved from this side of the earth completely in a straight line across the globe and back to almost where it started you know just on the other side of the mid-atlantic ridge here so um i started a new job <laughs> i hope you guys uh will stick with me i do plan to continue making earthquake forecasting videos in the meantime if you've noticed i've just been sharing a lot of just um different types of news pieces and things like that that i think you might be interested in on my youtube channel um if you haven't, I hope you'll go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I hope you'll share this video. And uh, I'll try to get on here and make some more videos just as soon as I can. Just give me a few weeks of my new job. And uh, feel free to leave your comments or questions in below. If you want to, you can contact me here on Facebook at Mark Mucci. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter. That's uh, Mark Mucci 67 And then also, of course, over here on my YouTube channel. Hope you guys will have a great week.